For the longest time, I guess I thought he didn't give a damn. Hard to read, hard to please, and yet that was my old man. On the day I left for college, it was nothing new. We never had that heart to heart. He had too much to do. He checked the air in my tires, the belts and all the spark plug wires. Said, "When the hell's the last time you had this oil changed?" And as I pulled out the drive, he said, "Be sure and call your mom sometime." And I didn't hear it then, but I hear it now. He was saying, "I know." Six years down the road, a brand new life and a brand new wife. We just bought our first home. When he finally came to visit, I thought he'd be so proud. He never said he liked the place. He just got his tool belt out and put new locks on the doors. Went back and forth to the hardware store. Said, "Come and hold this flashlight as you crawl beneath the sand." These old wires ain't up to code, and that circuit box is gonna overload. And I didn't hear it then, but I hear it now. He was saying, "I love you the only way he knew how." Last Sunday we all gathered for his 65th birthday, and I knew he stiffened up, but I hugged him anyway. When it was finally time to say goodbye, I knew what was next. Just like he always does, right before we left, he checked the air in my tires, the belts and all the spark plug wires. Said, "When the hell's the last time you had this oil changed?" And as I pulled out the drive, he said, "Be sure and call your mom sometime." And I didn't hear. But I hear it now. He was saying I.